so now we have configured till now actually we have configured a hr of approval form so when our rule input hr is true uh, then it shows like this like hr approval for this much amount and this comment field is there and if we make it false uh, these whole fields will become uh, editable and we can edit the value Oh, this comment field we have not put the condition this comment field is for the HRs not for the users so what we will do we will go back to our comment oh here only it was ah, if we will write a show when condition there show when rule input rule input HR is equal to true so now it won't show and this HR let's uh, rename this rule input as HR approval something only HR is not fine okay so HR approval we have named it so wherever it is it will change to HR approval okay all these values are now saved and uh, we will uh, see if HR approval is true then let's check our value so now it is like this so all the values are there. let's save the changes and now we will go and make our process model let's try to create the process model let's we can click on new and the process model and process model name will be travel reimbursement okay per process model like this we will name it and let's try to create it uh, we will keep the default settings only and now our process model so now first of all we will design how our process or how our flow will look like okay so this is the canvas okay let's drag a start node a bit above okay so that we can get more area yeah and this is not needed let's keep it aside this box is not needed now huh. now our canvas is ready so first of all what will happen some initiators are there they will try to initiate the request so we for that we will if they have cancelled the form or not cancelled the form so all these things that, that can be done in the process start form so we are going to take a process start from that for that okay so here we will select our interface our interface name is tr travel reimbursement so just write tr i guess with this one we will get it yeah so now we have got let's try to click it yes and all these rule inputs have been converted into the process variables so here we had actually three rule inputs cancel was there expense hr approval and all this has now been converted to the process variables and we can verify that as well so we can go to the pro properties and variables all three are there fine so now uh, first of all uh, with each step we will try to validate our expression as well and let's try if the user has cancelled the form let's try to check that flow as well so we will click on XOR gate okay and we will put it here and if cancel if cancel is true then it will directly go to the end node okay so otherwise it should go to where uh, otherwise it will go to the hr approval so for the hr approval what we will put it uh, we will put it a user input task if the user has not cancelled it so let's write a label here as a cancel so cancel okay just cancelled or we can make it something like a uh, cancel and this is it will, if it is not cancelled then it will go to the HR approval so here we will make it HR approval the this task name is HR approval user input task okay so uh, now what we will do is so here we can see uh, we can configure our cancel uh, XOR gate as well so let's try to con configure our cancel XOR gate let's click on new condition if the user has not uh, submitted the form so we will take PV bank okay cancel so one process variable is there PV bank cancel that is a boolean so if cancel is true then we will directly go to the end node otherwise it will go to the HR approval fine so this one is ready now for the HR approval what we want to do is this is important part uh, okay let's remove that huh. now for the HR approval we will go to the forms and we will use the same interface here as well so tr reimbursement okay here also we will use the same interface only but for the hr approval we have seen that if hr approval is true then it behaves like this 
right and if it is if it is false then it behaves as a user input form so this is the initiator form it behaves like and if it is true it behaves as an HR form so what we want to do is uh, we don't we can do this with the help of rule input same thing can be done with process variables so instead of HR approval we will directly map the value as uh, true here that's what we want to do okay now let's map the value as true so it will automatically become true now for the data part let's go and configure the data cancel button so cancel button value will be cancel okay and it will be saved into the cancel flow only uh, expense details is automatically this one is added uh, okay so we will use the same value expense details here and save into is as well expense details hr approval we have uh, we have to make it or automatically it will be true only okay so now uh, let's try to validate so right click and validate it will give us if any error are there huh. hr approval is not attended so it is actually attended not so if you can see clearly here there is a question mark here it means uh, whom it should be assigned it doesn't know so we will go and uh, for now we will assign to the process initiator as well uh, just uh, for that later on we can assign it to some other group so process initiator we have assigned it so now you can see here some person icon is now there let's try to validate it hmm. so till now uh, okay uh, it is saying a warning message like HR does not have exit flow yeah obviously we will have to create the exit flows now till now this much is done so now the HR what can do the now the HR can either reject the application or approve it as well right so some output will be there so again HR will make a decision so we will take a decision node here okay and with the help of this decision what it can actually do is so let's try to join this okay it's not joining let's try to choose the connector lines and now join it yeah fine now here the HR can either approve uh, can either approve the request or reject the request okay so either approve the request or reject the request we want that if the request is approved or rejected uh, it should send an mail to the user that your request is approved or your request is uh, uh, accepted like this so for sending mail we will use the send mail uh, okay so we will use send email node here okay so if it is it is approved if it is approved so request if request is approved then we will send a approval mail, approval mail to the user but if the request is not approved again let's try to copy it and paste it and here we will try to uh, say request denied so yeah rejected let's try to use it uh, re request is rejected okay so if the request is approved then it will go to the approval flow okay uh, let's use connector lines here if the request and if the request is rejected it will go to the rejected flow okay so that's all we want for now okay uh, let's not let's make it a bit clean here yeah now it will go once all mail is sent we will write the data to our database as well so let's in make an entry into our database as well so here we want that all the data should get written at the end so let's try to switch to connectors line let's add the connector line here and for here as well and we'll connect it to the end node so this is how our process will look for now okay so if uh, if it happens like this so it will go to that so that's all and we can make this end node as a terminate event as well so that's fine uh -huh. now what we are uh, now let's try to add one more condition here what we want to do is if the request if the reimbursement amount is less than 1000 rupees then uh, 
then employees don't then that doesn't need to go to the hr approval at all we don't need any hr approval if amount is less than 1000 rupees so that much they will be like they they would have employees will have that much allowance so what we want is uh, we want to go to the hr only when uh, the amount is greater than 1000 HR will verify the request and then they will approve it. But if the age, if the request is uh, less than, if the amount is actually, so let's add a label here. Uh, if the amount is less than equal to one thousand, up to one thousand rupees, they don't need any approval. It will directly go to the. They will directly re re uh, receive a mail that the request has been approved, and it will be right into the database store. And here, so here we, uh, we will let's uh, rename it as a store expense uh, details, right here. Okay, request rejected. So now let's configure all the nodes together. So now if you see here a lot of errors we are getting. So now we have to configure all. So first of all, let's configure the approve or reject decision node. Okay, uh, let's remove this part and we'll configure that. Let's go into the condition. Hmm. And here what we want is if PV bank expense details dot uh, here you can see here HR approval is there right so if HR approval is true so if HR approval so here you can see here if the HR has approved it then it should go where it should go into the request approved otherwise it should go into the request rejected node okay so here it is we will add the level as approved and here we will write the label as rejected okay now here it will go to the rejected flow fine uh, one thing is done now next thing is huh, our data base so for the database what we will do is data store entity huh. so refer the data store entity we need a constant so we need actually constant so let's try to create a constant we can create a constant from here as well or we can go to our application and create from there so usually we create from here let's create from here only and here we will write it expense details data store entity and the type is as well data store entity and the value is uh, tr uh, data store and only one entity is there that is expense details let's try to create the constant so and we will ref copy the constant from here we'll go to the process model and we'll uh, cons bang this okay so let's write it properly now yeah fine save and close yeah data store entity is done next thing we have to is store expense details so after that we have to store the expense detail as well store expense details okay and which what is the type of that so uh, we can uh, use uh, the type as uh, our type of the database whatever we have written so uh, TR it is so we will go to the TR and we will select that so TR expense details is there and that is selected click on OK what is the value expense details and save into expense details okay so now our value is all fine okay so our value of this data store entity is mine let's try to validate once again what other error are there oh a lot of errors are still there okay so let's try to request approve this node we will try to configure it uh, okay so this node will try to set up okay so from where should it go so it should go from the let's try to save like it will go from the process model only or we can set like if we have set any HR mail so we can select custom sender but then we have to say like sender display name is there sender email we have to display all these things so uh, we will what we will do is we will just send from the process only right and to whom so to whom we are going to send it so actually to send it if you are try to send it so we can send it to expense details dot email as well 
so there was some email id but generally this is our uh, trial poc we don't give any valid email id so we will uh, not use that so we what we will use it uh, what we will use it user uh, there is a function called user and uh, for that uh, whoever is the logged in user you can get all the details for this user so logged a logged in user and we want which detail we want the email detail from that okay and there is a function called to email address it will configure that value into the email address so whoever is the value so they can get it from there or we can configure our own email address as well fine it will go there request is approved subject subject is what so subject is it is approved right so we will write something as a request approved for what is the amount we have seen pv bank expense details dot total cost okay so this much amount has been approved priority will be normal and uh, we will say something like uh, the uh, approved the approved amount uh, the let's try to save something like the approved amount will be will be credited will be credited uh, to your bank uh, bank account within uh, let's say five working days okay it will take five working days to complete it okay and we can make it thanks low code basics fine so let's make it this fine and if the request is rejected then also we need to configure the same thing here as well we'll send it from the process and to whom we have to send it so let's try to use the same thing or uh, we can uh, write uh, my email address as well that is kumar.vikas18 at the rate outlook outlook.com okay kumar.vikas18 at the rate outlook.com i have configured my email address it will go to my email address we can store my email address in uh, a constant as well and directly refer it from here okay so let's try to refer uh, do that only so what i will do is we will try to make a constant uh, tr uh, we will store store mail so and the type will be what mail id is generally a text type only generally what every time it is text and value is what let's try to write my email id here outlook so uh, i have made a constant actually here that will create that will send the mail to the user okay so now we have done that part so it will send the mail as well so we will refer the same constant here where is our mail okay so tr store mail is there so cons bank uh, tr uh, store mail so it will send to that constant subject so it is request rejected okay so here we will write it your uh, your request uh, your request of for amount and we'll put the amount as well pv bank expense details dot total cost okay and let's like it uh, has been rejected so like this your request amount has been rejected so that will be what okay so uh, for rejected mail that we will just put the same thing here your requ your request has been rejected and we can tell that please get in touch with HR thank you. okay and then we'll write thanks low code basics 
fine so we have configured that and ha let's go to our request approved and here as well we will write the same thing we can use the uh, in the pro in your involvement we can use that as well or we can use the tr store mail so i will get in my email id fine let's try to validate it once more and we'll see ha huh. now we are not seeing any any details as well ha huh. one more thing we have to class do here is cancel button so cancel button is uh, only one decision is there if cancel is true then it will go to end node but we have to write one more uh, condition that uh, if pv bank uh, expense details dot uh, total cost is less than is equal to 1000 then what we have to do then when we have to go we will go to request approved otherwise it will go to hr approval fine so now everything is set up fine and uh, we can go to our properties and set the data management as well delete after one day let's set the alert so it will use custom alerts and will use uh, uh, tr administrators it will go to that okay variables is fine uh, process ha huh, hr approval so it is generally the task name so we will make a dynamic task display name we will change it so when hr will get the task it will say like hr approval uh, for we will write the name as uh, and pv bank uh, expense details dot name okay okay and then we will write again for amount and then pv bank hr details dot total cost so this is the task name they will get fine so that is done travel reimbursement form has been done uh, this one as well like we can make it uh, dynamic uh, instead of process model let's try to remove it and let's make it now so that we can differentiate or we can give any other name as well so now i guess everything is set and we can debug try to debug the process as well so let's try to click on save and publish okay and let's try to debug the process so here we will see all these details so whatever we have to fill and try so no, no. let's put some employee id and we will put peter w something email id is peter w at the rate email dot com okay phone number let's make it okay description was what uh let's make it uh, uh, back to office back to office and uh, for when it is requested let's put it something as 17 total cost incurred is uh, what we can say is total cost incurred is around 900 rupees so let's try to submit the form okay the form has been submitted let's try to see how our instance has taken okay so it has broken here and no valid recipients resolved okay so now our node is uh, getting broken so what is the let's go to the errors and see okay no valid recipient result okay so it has not taken the email address from the constant actually so what we can do is uh, there is a function that we have used earlier to convert it to email address so we will use the convert email address i have used here and same thing we will go and use in the request rejected field as well so here as well we will go to to email address it will convert that value into the email address to email address okay and now we'll save and close it okay so let's try to save and publish it and we'll uh see once again so let's try to debug the process okay so let's try to give any uh, random uh, employee id and it will be sara okay let's put it sara j okay j j dot sara the rate email.com any email id we can 
put it here for testing okay so description requested for when they have 17 and how much they have requested 900 description like uh, we can give something like back to office okay let's try to click on submit button and we'll see we can see that uh, the uh, okay the process has been completed and we can see all these details has been captured here employee details and everything has been captured and we would have got a mail as well so let's also we have received so i have captured the response so this is the mail i have received a request approved from 900 and it is saying to my email address the approved amount will be credited to your bank account within five working days thanks local so this is how we can configure it and test it so that's all for now uh, we'll try to create the site in next videos thank you